Good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Phil Lewis. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's so good to see you all online with us this morning on uh, Facebook for our morning meditation. This morning I want to talk a little bit about being anxious for nothing. All God has given us peace. In Philippians 4 and 6, it says this. Listen, listen to me. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Wow. Wow. That is such a blessed text there that uh, Brother Paul, St. Paul, Apostle Paul gives to us. Um, we possess the peace of God. He said, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall protect your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We possess the peace of God because of the fact that we have the salvation of God, because of the fact that we possess, we have the Holy Spirit of God dwelling on the inside of us. And because we have the Holy Spirit, we have this peace. The question is, how do we maintain that peace? How do we keep the peace of God ruling and reigning within our souls? How do we keep a consciousness of God's very presence within us, an awareness that the God of peace lives within us. Wow. Wow. An awareness, a consciousness. This uh, passage discusses two of the most important steps to possessing that peace. Paul tells us to pray, amen, always. He says, but, but in everything, by prayer, and supplication, make your requests be made known to God. Ask for the power of his presence, for the, for the uh, consciousness of his presence. Ask for it. You have to ask for it. And then Jesus tells us to pray continually. Paul tells us pray without ceasing. Jesus tells us pray always. Wow, men are to always pray and not give up. You got to keep praying. You have to keep communicating. We must keep communicating with God. The line of prayer must always be busy. It must always be, we must always be connected to God where we are speaking to him and he is speaking to us. And many times you have to be, you have to put that, the word of God in your heart, in your mind so that God will, is always speaking to you constantly through his word. Amen. It regurgitates itself. And when the word of God regurgitates, regurgitates itself in your mind, when it comes up in your mind, you are, he's got, it's God speaking to you. You are communing with God. And you, you're never, let me tell you something, you're never anxious when the word of God is being communicated to you. Because you know it's true. You have, it builds your faith. It strengthens your faith. It strengthens your resolve. It strengthens you. God is constantly and steadily strengthening you. <clears throat> but you have to stay in the word. You have to allow the word. You have to not only stay in the word. You have to allow the word to stay in you. Dallas Willard tells us this is how we um, become disciples. This is how we are uh, disciples in the core of our being by allowing God to commune with us and by feeling his mighty presence right there with us. It's as if um, when I get in my car, I'm conversing with Christ. I imagine Christ 
sitting right there next to me. And he had, I have a, the driving wheel of the car, but he has the driving wheel of my life. As a matter of fact, he is the driving wheel. I believe that was a song by a quartet song a long time ago, my driving wheel. Yes, let him take the wheel. Let Jesus take the wheel of your life and you won't have that anxiety. You won't be anxious. The peace of God will just flood your heart and mind. Yes, it will allow Jesus today to flood your heart and mind with his peace. And remember that peace comes through consistent prayer and communication with God. Go in peace today. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for that peace that you give us that passes all understanding. Lord God, we thank you for those rivers of living water that flow through us. Continue to cleanse us that as your living water, as your Holy Spirit flows in us, it will not be contaminated by our flesh, but it will continue to cleanse and wash us, our inner flesh, our soul, so that we would become more and more like you daily. We'll be careful, oh God, to give you praise, glory, and honor. We'll be careful to consult you <coughs> at all times, oh God. Touch us this day that as we go, we would become more and more like you. We thank you for hearing our prayer, and we offer it up in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, who still is and always will be the Christ. Amen. God bless you and keep you. I see you out there today. Offer up a little prayer for Pastor Lewis and Sister Lewis as we go up. We're traveling by car up to the Bay Area to... Um, attend the homegoing celebration of our, but one of our beloved aunts, my aunt, her cousin Betty. Um, uh, she would have been 92 on August the 10th. She was a wonderful lady, but pray for us for traveling grace as we go up and arriving grace as we come back and arrive safely back home. God bless you and keep you today. Yeshua's blessing shower down upon you. Remember this. Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed.